channel if you're new here my name is Vanita and today we are traveling for 24 hours on a train from Seattle to San Francisco and in San Francisco I'm gonna spend two full days there one night and then I'm back to LA so let's get this vlog started today's train outfit is sweatpants and the sweater I kind of wanted to wear my San Diego sweater but it's dirty yeah I have to leave in a good 20 minutes I'm actually dying Woo! I need one book on the train ride, and that's legendary because I'm annotating this from Michaela. I didn't even get that many books. It's just going to be very full. I really am wondering how I'm going to do this. Dude, it's almost nine. Like, we really got to go. So let's go to Union Station and get the train to San Francisco. I'm super excited, everyone. Ah! I did indeed almost miss my train because I arrived at the train station 10 minutes before the train was going to leave and I was having more flashbacks to when Vanessa and I went to Paris because we missed our train and I, that was just a traumatic experience and I was super scared that I was going to relive that day again. Thankfully I didn't because I made it on the train and I sat down in my spot because I actually had a really nice seat this time and no one was sitting next to me which was just wow amazing because the train was fully packed to the brim and the views were yet again just beautifully amazing show stopping and spectacular I was feeling like Bella Swan in Twilight I was feeling like the main character that's quirky different and not like other girls and you know what that means I obviously created a playlist with exactly that vibe because if you're going on a train through Washington and you are a reader how are you going to tell me that you're not the main character in a vampire twilight supernatural romance novel because you are obviously you are even though i then entered this winter wonderland and it wasn't even winter but it's just so beautiful i'm amazed every single time when i see snow i just love snow so much why do you think i love skiing so much it's it's so pretty, okay? I feel like I'm in a fairy tale. I'm definitely in another world. I definitely am shifting currently and not on this planet, even though I definitely am. But snow is just so pretty. And it's not even winter and it's summer and I love snow, okay? This, this was beautiful. If, yet again, you want to go on a train ride in the US, go onto this one because you will see all these views in real life and they're so much prettier than they are on camera. Anyways, and then it was already night because I was yet to sleep on the train and this time I actually slept through because I didn't have a snoring sleeping partner next to me, which was great. And we were arriving in San Francisco and it was great. But now, now this trip is getting actually really messy because something really bad happened and you're able to see what happens because <clears throat> let's just say I'm embarrassed that this happened. Guess who missed their bus to San Francisco? Maybe Yo, I slayed that. I'm fully honestly confused on what happened because I like, there were two buses there. And I go, does this bus go to San Francisco? He goes, no, this goes to blah, 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 blah. It's 9.01, the bus was supposed to leave at 50. Uh, and then I see the bus drive off. I'm like, I'm 100% sure, for some sure this was supposed to be my bus. I'm gonna book an Uber now, so. So I just got ready. Do you want to know something really funny? I just cried. Do you want to know why? Because I ripped my favorite pants. Oh! Right there. Right under my ass cheek. As you can tell, today really wasn't my lucky day. But you know what? It's fine because the rest of the trip was amazing. So I tried to pretend that all these faults that happened already this morning did not happen, okay? Obviously, they did happen, but let's pretend they didn't. Anyways, the views in San Francisco were amazing. I right away went to get myself a coffee. Durr, who do you think I am? I had to survive somehow the entire day. And then I already walked to the first bookstore because even though I'm a tourist in San Francisco to look at the architecture, I will not be missing out on any beautiful bookstores because you will never see me missing out on buying new books because book buying bans aren't meant to be broken and books are life. And I am a reader. So what do you think I'm going to do? Obviously go to a bookstore. Well, look at this. Wow. I'm in love. I... Anyways, let's go walk to the bookstore and buy some books. I am indeed correct. It says Books Inc. There's a bookstore somewhere in here. I finally arrived at the first bookstore and this is definitely not one of my top bookstores in San Francisco because it was just so pretty, okay? They had so many books, so many back rooms. I was surprised by how big this bookstore was because from the outside, it looks so tiny, itsy bitsy weeny, but it's giant on the inside. Anyways, I was indeed tricked by some books in here by the nanny, for example, because, oh my god, the cover, cute romance, the nanny, only fans? What do you mean, only fans? I was actually sitting there fully flabbergasted because of what the book actually was about. The cover is just so deceiving. You know what I mean? 
Then I found this very fitting book for me, obviously, because it's called The Comedians. And I mean, I'm a comedian. Oh my gosh, ha ha ha, dead jokes. Anyways, I thought it was perfect for me, even though it was called The Dead Comedians and I'm currently still alive somehow. Anyways, then I found an even better book and it's Jokes to Offend Men With. And I really did want to buy this because I wanted to offend, I don't know, my brother with this and it would have been hilarious, but the book was $27. And then I thought maybe it's not that hilarious for this price, but I was indeed laughing very loudly in the bookstore because it was a great book. And again, look at the second back room. It, this bookstore is just so big and beautiful and wow, definitely go here if you're ever in San Francisco. Just so pretty, okay? After my award-winning dance break, I found yet again a book I really loved, but then I also found a book I really hated, and I was offended by seeing it at the bookstore, and I was shocked by seeing it as well. Anyways, after being at this beautiful bookstore and buying one book, I went to another bookstore. Shockingly, I know, like, who would have thought I went to multiple bookstores in a day? I know. <laughs> And after being at the second bookstore of the day, I definitely did not go to another bookstore. I 100% didn't go to another bookstore. Why would I do that? Never ever would I go to multiple bookstores in a day. And I totally wasn't shocked by them having a ladder on their bookshelf. Nope, definitely didn't go to a bookstore. I actually, actually went to a museum, not a bookstore, and it was great. It was a great museum, you know what I mean? Guys, <laughs> what is this? Willkommen beim Wurstbiergarten. Wir bedürfen, wir wollen starke Getränke schlürfen. Oh my gosh. So many things. And now another one. I can't stop, guys. I'm about to walk to this monument, which is like three really pretty houses, apparently. They're like sisters. Oh my gosh, is this them? No. But they are just as pretty. Wow. Oh my. Oh my gosh, and people live there. I'm so jealous. I can't believe my life. Okay, I made it to the last bookstore of the day. my last coffee of the day coffee for and we're gonna walk to this hill where this beautiful old townhouse is and we're just gonna walk and watch some beautiful architecture there it is everyone that's the house and then there's just these beautiful ones want to know want to know what i think that house looks like it's haunted you know like those houses that give you the vibe that they're haunted that one it just looks like someone died in there and then like everyone in there just like dies that's literally beautiful. It's not the full sunset, but it's it's still absolutely gorgeous. I'm now gonna be walking back to the hotel just because I'm really cold and I don't really wanna die. What is that on the tree? What is that? 
Hey guys, I'm back in the hotel room and I'm gonna give you all now a haul of everything I got today. And I'm gonna start with the books, obviously, duh. And I got six books. First, I got uh, In Cold Blood by Truman Capote? Capote? Capote. Four members of the Clutter family were savagely murdered by blasts from shotguns. Pew, pew, pew. And now we have to reconstruct the murders and then solve them. Sounds super exciting. I'm so excited to read this. It's also thrifted, so it was $5, which is really good. Then I got The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. I'm pretty sure this is a memoir. The Glass Castle is a remarkable memoir of resilience and redemption and a revel revelatory look into a family at once deeply dysfunctional and uniquely vibrant. Then I got a romance book called The Emma Project, and this is... So this book is a Friends with Benefits romance story and the Friends with Benefits project is the Emma Project and that's not her name. I don't really know why it's called the Emma Project fully honestly, but this is just a Friends with Benefits romance story. And the girl apparently was before in a 10 year fake relationship. What do you mean 10 years in a fake relationship? I'm so confused, but so excited. And the cover is just beautiful in my opinion. Then I got The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hart Castle. This book has a lot of mixed reviews, but I think the cover is beautiful, so I had to get it. This is a masquerade ball that is thrown every year by the parents of Evelyn, and she will die every day until Aiden Bishop can identify who murdered her and stop the killer. I'm so excited to read this book. It sounds so good, and I'm so excited to see who the killer is. Then I finally got the book called... Oops. Then I finally got the book called Sadie. And this book is about this radio person called West who gets a phone call about the disappearance of this 19-year-old girl called Sadie. And first he's like, oh, it's just a runaway teenager. But then he finds out that she ran away after her little sister was murdered. And Sadie's basically on a journey to avenge her little sister's murder. And I'm very excited to see how that will happen. And I'm very excited to see Sadie evil people. And then last but not least, I got this really cool sounding book. It's called Ocean State. First of all, the cover is literally beautiful. Let me read to you the first few sentences because it's literally so good. When I was in eighth grade, my sister helped kill another girl. She was in love, my mother said, like it was an excuse. Her sister helped murder a girl because they were both in love with the same guy. What do you even mean? What are you even talking about? That sounds so good. And it's told out of four different perspectives. Amazing show stopping spectacular actually never been done before. I'm so excited. And now the rest I got are all gifts. First, I got these three little crochet sets. One's for me, one's for Clara, and one's for Michaela. And we're all gonna do them together. I think it's gonna be super cute. And then for Michaela, I got a special edition of Withering Heights by Emily Bronte. First of all, Withering Heights is my favorite classic. Second, pink is Michaela's favorite color, and Michaela wanted to get the special edition of Persuasion just because it's pink. But when I saw this, I thought, why not get her one of Withering Heights in pink? So that's what I did, and I hope she likes this. And then for Clara, I got something too which is this cute tote bag. And she's a she's a plant mom, okay? And on here we have different plants. It, call, it says House of Plants. That's my haul, everyone. Now I'm gonna go shower and get ready and then I'll talk with you all after again. So let's shower. Good night, everyone. I'll see you all tomorrow for day two in San Francisco. See you tomorrow. Morning, everyone. I look very dead. <laughs> I'm so tired. It's the last day of my train trip and my last day in San Francisco. It's kind of sad that it's over. My bus leaves tonight at 10.30. And till then I have to have all my stuff down at the bus. And then I arrive tomorrow in the morning in LA. So I need to get all my stuff ready. I'm currently trying to shove all my books into my backpack, which is proving to be difficult. I booked my ticket for the book binding museum. I'm hoping that the, the book binding museum has some cool keychains or stuff like that because I want to get a keychain for Vanessa. Let's go see how books are made. I'm so excited! Sadly, the bookbinding museum did not have any nice keychains for Vanessa. So sorry, Vanessa, but you're getting a different keychain and now you already have it because this is in the future. So anyways, you already have the keychain. But I found out something else for Vanessa at the bookbinding museum and that is dun -dun -dun -dun, how to bind books. Because if you don't know this, I've been wanting to bind a book for Vanessa for over a year now because she really loves a lot of different fan fictions that are like on Wattpad or AO3. And those are obviously not published books, but if you get permission from the author, you can bind the books yourself. Ta-da! 
And I want to do that for her. And I've been, I already have a kit actually, but I've never tried it because I really did not know how to do it. But I learned a lot of different techniques and skills and little tricks at this museum. So now I feel like I can actually try to do this. And I will definitely be making a vlog out of this, a bookish challenge out of this, because it, it's going to be a trial and error type situation, if you know what I'm trying to say. More like a DIY, try it yourself, not DIY you know so yeah anyways back to the museum they had so many cute different books so many old covers and the fact that they're all handmade is just so amazing to think about because look how much effort and work and hours of sweat they put into these covers and artworks it's just so nice i mean look at these these are my favorite these are they, i want every single one of these books okay they're so pretty Anyways, what's so cool is they had a sewing station in the back where you could actually try to bind your own books. And I, I was doing it. Was it difficult? Yes, indeed. But I learned a few things like how to fold book pages, which was really fun. And now I feel like I will actually be able to do this and not mess up when I do my own book binding. And then I also learned how to sew the different pages into each other, which was a lot harder. I was indeed struggling. As you can tell, I kept going back and forth because I felt like I kept messing up. I, I did not know where to put the needle. Moral of the story is it was easier said than done. And it was a lot harder than I thought it would be. Turns out I still know how to do it though. And I succeeded in the end. We're now going to go to the Modern Arts Museum and then walk up to the coast and then walk on the coast once around to wherever we want to go after. So yeah, let's go to the Modern Art Museum. I'm very excited. are gone. Oh, my heart. No. No. The museum was absolutely amazing. A 10 out of 10. So good. They had Matisse Picasso. I mean, the coffee cup. Are you kidding me? So pretty. So amazing. Anyways, afterwards, I went up onto this outlook where you could have a beautiful overview of the entire city. And it was, it was gorgeous, okay? You could see everything. You could see downtown. You could see the lake. You could see every single bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge. It was great. The view was absolutely beautiful. Was I indeed sweating, though? Yes. Yes, I was because the hike took me like, I don't know, 20 minutes. The view from up here is so nice. Next, we're gonna go to that curvy road. But look at the Golden Gate Bridge. Looking beautiful as ever. I honestly didn't realize that San Francisco was this hilly because, whoa, I was exhausted when walking everywhere. Like, Seattle was hilly, but San Francisco was another level. When I had to walk to Lombard Street, I, my legs were dying. I felt like I was walking on the treadmill and I, that I was walking up the Stairmaster for like a good 30 minutes. My legs were not doing well. And I, I, I just couldn't walk anymore. So I went to Madewell and actually found some clothes. I found this beautiful dress. I also tried on some other clothes and I just loved myself because they were so ugly on me. But this dress, I actually kind of liked. Even though my boobs are fully out but i really liked it the green is beautiful i love green dresses and I, I just think it looked really good then i went to the palace of fine arts and oh my gosh this is the most beautiful thing i've ever seen you know barbie and the 12 dancing princesses you're telling me that isn't inspired from here because this literally looks like the place where they dance it's, it's perfect it's so pretty it's everything you could ever want in life how is it so gorgeous i want to live in a place like this i love architecture everywhere this place is so beautiful Look at that! Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. I 
I sadly don't have an outro for this video, which is so sad because this is my last solo traveling diary vlog because the day was just so stressful. I mean, I had to go on a bus to LA and I couldn't find the bus stop. So I didn't have any time to film myself anywhere. So after seeing the sunset, I, I just had to go back into the city and it was just a stressful experience. So I really couldn't film anything. So thank you all so much for watching my last episode of the solo traveling diaries. I'm actually getting kind of emotional since this is over now, but I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you can give a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my content, you can subscribe. Don't worry. I still have other traveling vlogs from the US before going back to solely book content again. And yeah, I hope you all have a great day, evening, night, and morning, whatever time zone you're in. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Go read a book. If you have any books that I bought in this vlog, definitely read them, okay? Because I feel like you need to, and this is your destiny. Again, thank you all so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Happy reading, and see you next time.